I used to laugh at people who said their houses were haunted. You know, the usual stuff. Flickering lights, strange noises in the night, objects moving on their own. I thought it was all just a mix of paranoia and an overactive imagination. But then, something happened in my own house, and I'm not so sure anymore. I had just moved into this old two-story home in a quiet suburban neighborhood. The place wasn't anything special. 1950s architecture, hardwood floors that creaked when you walked, and an attic that the previous owners said they never used. They said it was just for storage, but it looked like they hadn't set foot up there in decades. The first few weeks were uneventful. I'd come home from work, make dinner, and settle into my new life. But then one night, I heard something. A faint scraping noise, like wood rubbing against wood. At first, I brushed it off as the house settling. It's old, after all, but the sound didn't go away. In fact, it started getting louder, more insistent. It was coming from the attic. I'm not proud to admit that I ignored it for a few days. I didn't want to know what was up there and, honestly, I assumed it was just a rat or something. But then, one night, the noise changed. It wasn't a scraping sound anymore, it was more like footsteps. Slow, deliberate footsteps, pacing back and forth above my bedroom ceiling. That night I couldn't sleep. I just lay there staring at the ceiling, listening. I kept telling myself that it was my imagination, that old houses make weird noises all the time. But deep down, I knew something wasn't right. The next morning I decided to check it out. I grabbed a flashlight, pulled down the rickety attic ladder, and climbed up. The air up there was thick with dust, and the wooden beams groaned under my weight. It was exactly what you'd expect an old attic to look like. Boxes piled in the corners, cobwebs hanging from the rafters, and that strange, musty smell. But there was nothing unusual. No sign of animals, no broken windows where something could have gotten in. Nothing. I figured I must have been hearing things, but as I turned to leave, something caught my eye. On the far side of the attic, partially hidden behind an old dresser, was a small wooden door. I hadn't noticed it before. It was about three feet high, like a crawlspace door with rusted hinges and a thick padlock hanging from it. I didn't like the look of that door. There was something about it that made my skin crawl. But curiosity got the better of me. I walked over to it, bent down, and tried the padlock. It was solid, unmoving. I gave the door a shove, but it didn't budge. The thing was sealed tight. I left the attic that day, trying to put it out of my mind. But the footsteps didn't stop. In fact, they got worse. It was as if something or someone was pacing right above me, night after night. Sometimes it sounded like two people walking in sync, their footsteps echoing through the house. Then the knocking started. It was faint at first. A light tap 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 on the attic floorboards right above my bed, but each night it got louder, more aggressive. One night, it sounded like fists pounding against the wood. I was losing sleep, my nerves shot until I couldn't take it anymore. I called an exterminator, thinking maybe there was some kind of animal infestation I wasn't seeing. He came by, checked the attic, and said there was no sign of rodents or pests. But when he saw the small door, his face went pale. That door shouldn't be there. 
he muttered almost to himself. What do you mean? I asked. I've seen a lot of houses like this. That's not a crawl space. It looks like someone blocked something off. Locked it away. I didn't ask any more questions. I didn't want to know. After he left, I tried to forget about the attic. But the knocking, the footsteps, it all kept getting worse. I even tried sleeping in a different room, but it didn't matter. The sounds followed me. Finally, I decided to do something I'd been avoiding since the day I moved in. I called a locksmith. When he arrived, I brought him up to the attic and pointed to the door. He looked at me like I was crazy. You sure you want to open this? I nodded. It took him about 20 minutes to break the padlock. I'll never forget the moment he swung that door open. The smell hit us first. This rancid, sour stench that made me gag. But what really got me was the space behind the door. It wasn't a crawl space. It was a small room, barely big enough to stand in, with no windows, no light, and dirt-covered walls. And on the floor, I saw it. A small wooden rocking chair turned over on its side. I didn't stick around after that. I grabbed a few essentials and left that house within the hour. I sold it at a loss a few months later to a guy who didn't ask too many questions. But sometimes, at night, I still hear it. That faint sound of footsteps pacing back and forth just above my head. I live in an apartment now. No attic. But the sound, it follows me.